So this is a representation of a Penrose diagram for a Schwarzschild black hole, which is a black hole that does not rotate and therefore is a little bit unrealistic. But the representation um, is simple enough that it's easy to explain what a Penrose diagram is. So a Penrose diagram is composed of many different parts. Here uh, in this area, this is what we call the universe and is everything that is outside the black hole and is supposedly the region where we are right now. And in this universe, you can imagine someone who's falling into the black hole. So for instance, this person here is follow following a specific trajectory that then crosses the horizon, which is this line over here. So this person crosses the horizon and ends up in this sort of uh, wavy line, which represents the singularity of the black hole. Now there is other regions in this diagram. For instance, this region here, which is called the white hole, because it's the actual reverse of what we would say a black hole is, in the sense that if I would have a person um, or a, a beam of light traveling this way, it would cross the anti-horizon and reach our universe. And so anything that is in the black hole has to move, in the white hole has to move in a specific way. It will be expelled out of the white hole as soon as it crosses one of these parallel horizons or anti-horizons. And so if these white holes would exist in reality, that would mean that we would be looking sometimes into the sky and we would see regions of space and time that would all of a sudden expel many different things, including perhaps, you know, buzzes and airplanes and spaceships. But that we have never seen happening. And therefore we think that this region here does not actually exist, even though uh, it is a mathematical extrapolation of uh, one of the solutions of Einstein's equations, which is the Schwarzschild black hole. Now this diagram also has another part, which is called the parallel universe, which would be a kind of copy of our own universe. But we are not able to travel from our universe to that parallel universe, because the only way to travel would be to travel faster than the speed of light in this way. Light travels in lines of uh, 45 degrees in this diagram. So this line here would be impossible unless you would travel faster than the speed of light. And so far we know that there's nothing that can actually do that. But if this parallel universe actually existed, you can imagine uh, being some person here, uh, for instance, Spider-Man, Tom Holland, here. And Tom Holland decides to cross the event horizon and will cross somehow in this way. And perhaps in the parallel universe, you have another Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire here, who also decides to cross the event horizon in a different way here. And so the two Spider-Mans could actually meet in the black hole region before uh, they reach their ultimate fate which is the singularity where they would supposedly die. Now, this is again a possible picture as extrapolated from Einstein's equations, but we have no idea whether it's true or not because as soon as we cross the event horizon, we cannot send any, single, any signal back into our universe or to the parallel universe, and therefore we have absolutely no idea what happens inside the event horizon and whether there's even a singularity at all. Most likely, this picture is not even correct because we don't think there is actually a singularity inside the black hole.